Bray from RKB Custom Speed out of California. This bike is a somewhat of a 1981 shovel head, kind of a conglomeration of parts actually. The bottom end, I just got everything in pieces and made something out of it. The rest of it, frame, forks, everything other than the motor I built in-house. The name of this bike comes from a, a buddy of mine that passed away, Colby Solomon. He, uh, he was a good friend of mine and I actually built a bike in memory of him before this one and I lost it in a fire so this is kind of like part two um, King Solomon in memory of him. On all my stuff I like trinkets. I like kind of taking the hard way to get there but at the same time it's super simple. Um, everything I do has some sort of linkage and bell crank and ratios. It, it really makes my brain make it work. Um, you can kind of tell my stuff from everyone else's because of that and I I'm really picky of how it's done to finish on them. Everything's by hand. I don't have any fancy machines. Uh, I started building bikes, I believe, in early 03. 03-ish, as far as I can remember. I've wanted to do it forever. Um, wasn't allowed to. <laughs> I wasn't. My family, my dad and them weren't too hip on motorcycles, so stuff like this, if I wanted, I had to build it, and that's that's where I'm at today is I... I did it because I didn't have money to buy it or allowed to do it really so if I wanted something I had to make it. The rear, I come from a racing background. I've always been a uh, race car fabricator and into racing and um, the rear wheel is a one-off. It's actually a true beadlock. It, it clamps the bead of the wheel like a dragster or an open wheel car. The front end, the, the Springer is all my design. Um, I hand make the, the trees, everything. Frame is mine. Um, I used Harley axle plates from Nate. He's a good dude and it helped me on time wise, that's for sure. But it's a great piece. Everything else, I just connect the dots. I knew on a deadline I didn't have the time to get as extreme as I would really want to. So little things like flipping the foot controls around draws attention to the details. Uh, cool Hand Luke's been my painter from day one. He's, uh, he's done every one of my personal bikes from the beginning. I, f I found that with the way I do things, and you, you find your little group of people, your, your plater, your, you know, your engine guy that helps you do your engine, and, and your painter, you find that little group that clicks and there's no limits. And I, I think that's from beginning to end, everyone I work with, everybody clicks, and that's why our final product is the way it is. This is Rick Bray from RKB and you're watching Shop Talk.